Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding two brackets involving thirds of this form. And we want to expand and simplify these two brackets. Let's just quickly remind ourselves how we expand our two brackets. Let's say we had x plus 3 times x plus 4. Do you remember we do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second bracket? So we do the first thing in this bracket times by each of the things in the second, so the x times the x, and the x times the 4. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So we do the 3 times the x, and we do the 3 times the 4. So we do the x times the x, we get x squared. If we do the x times the 4, we get 4x. If we do the 3 times the x, we get the 3x. If we do the 3 times the 4, we get 12. So we get all the possible combinations of one thing from here, one thing from here. And then we could just simplify by collecting like terms. That's the only x squared term. There's no other x squared terms. That just stays as it is. But we've got two x terms. So 4x plus 3x is 7x. And then we've got what's known as a constant term, the plus 12. It has no x on it. And you get that. So let's apply that same principle to expanding with these thirds and use our knowledge of multiplying thirds together. So we're going to do the root 5 times each of the things in the second bracket first. So the root 5 times the 1 is just root 5. One lot of root 5 is root 5. Now the root 5 times minus root 5, now I tend to get the sign first. That's positive times negative. We know it's negative. And what's root 5 times root 5? Well, remember, when we multiply two thirds together, we times these numbers together. 5 times 5 is 25, so it's root 25. And the square root of 25 is 5. But a simpler way of doing it is if you have the square root of a number times by itself, you just get that number without the square root. So root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And then we do the 4 times each of the things in the second bracket. So the 4 times the 1 is just 4. And the 4 times the negative root 5, well, positive times negative is negative. And 4 lots of root 5 is just 4 root 5. And then we can sort of collect like terms, just like with algebra. So let's collect the thirds together first. We've got 1 lot of root 5 minus 4 lots of root 5 is minus 3 lots of root 5. And then we've got these constant terms. So we've got minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. And that is the final answer. If you were to type this into your calculator, it would actually simplify it for you, and you should get that expression there.